The Rivanaen communities along the coast of Sierra Leone have long depended on the canoe as an integral part of their livelihood. It is used for fishing and transport, and the men who paddle the canoes are highly skilled. On Chabo Island, they used to celebrate the canoe and the men who handle them with an annual canoe race. But times change and economic fortunes fluctuate, and in the mid-1960s, the race just stopped. Now, nearly 70 years later, the race is on again. This is our young culture. We are Shebra. Na boat and fishing now we sabi. Now with tradition, we for show them around the world say we na humble people. This now we beginning. This now the way we'll be the end we live in. And we want for continue for show the world say we see the panam. So the idea is to restore pride in the canoe and in the men who use them and to bring the river and communities back together again in a celebration of traditional aspects of Sierra Leone's culture. They show the culture because basically their own role now for the paddle, you know, they're fishing boats them. And if you go to some area then are bounce districts, where especially during the rainy season, for even move from your host, go to your neighbor. Now paddle you get for paddle, they inside canoe for go because we're attacking they all over the city. So this na river in area, na water area. So canoe na a point of living, where they make them living and transportation. Seven canoes race through the foaming water to the roars from spectators lined up along Shabu Island river banks. The competition features seven communities all living along the Shabo River. The race lasted for about 50 minutes. After expanding their strength, the first boat, which is the crew from Nongoba Bulon Chiefdom, reached the finish line. All of the crew members from the different teams use the canoe and paddle daily, but they have never paddled with such pressure on them. With beaming smiles and excitement, Michael Amar from Nongobaku was optimistic they would win due to the level of force they used paddling. I will be the paddling at the water. I will get confidence over so the win. I will get power for paddle. Sitia Chief Dom Loa was the first runner up, and Sitia Chief Dom Opa was the second runner up. Interestingly, the Ryan spectators have never witnessed such a race. Even the elderly have only heard about it. What you don't come see today, I don't see from where they don't born, I don't see this program now. The youths were happy to have witnessed an event that used to be a tale told to them. Actually, as a young man like me, so I to be I'm very happy for the and witness this particular show because a very long time they don't tell we say they like they say like from Mr. Um, Momo in time then they all oh, like Malek we like not only then ten day so I'm very much happy for this particular occasion here today. The dream for the rekindled canoe race was to make it a national sporting activity for riverine communities in the country. His Excellency the President, because you see now in day now he starts the race now he give the awards them he say he wants in the future make it be like a national event you know like coastal areas like then cambia we do like free town then get their own race competition then they we get the champion them on boxing and then kaya we can do the final you know now that we will do in years to come but the competition was said to have been sponsored by the president and his wife emmanuel samoa slbc